The next thing I want to go over is using trackpad gestures and mission control. These are the two most powerful um, productivity tools available in OS X. Um, they do a very good job at letting you manage your windows and workflow as you're working on undoubtedly thousands and thousands of creative projects. Um, so first things first, go into system preferences and go over to the trackpad settings. And again, here you'll be able to see you know, scroll and zoom settings, like when you're um, editing photos and preview, there's a, a couple of different things here that you can do. Your point and click settings, um, you can change your right click to be um, click with three fingers or bottom left corner, bottom right corner, whatever you prefer. Um, there's a little um, look up word feature that you can use within OS X. Um, you can change it to tap to click instead of actually pushing down the physical trackpad button. Um, you can also change your tracking speed. But under the more gestures tab is the main area that we want to look at. So you have a swipe between pages which works with certain um, applications in OS X. For example, it works with Google Chrome. Um, if I go to google.com and let's say I went to news and I wanted to go back, if I use two fingers and scroll over, I could see this arrow up here and it'll actually take me back. So instead of using my back and forward buttons, I can just easily swipe to get back and forth between my web pages. Um, now if you're in calendar or some other application, that will switch between the months. And so it does it a few different things based on which application you're in. The swipe between full screen apps. Um, this one's really useful. Um, I'm just gonna open up calendar to see what it, show you what it does. A lot of apps now will have a full screen arrow up here in the upper right and by full screening that app you effectively put it in its own window so you know by using this gesture the three finger left or right I can swipe between my full screen apps um, and this gets really handy when I start talking about mission control and using our virtual desktops um, if I swipe to the left I can also get over into dashboard which holds all of my widgets um, <clears throat> that you can manage for different things Okay, um, the next one is Notification Center, which is new to Mountain Lion, and if I have two fingers over at the edge and I pull over, that's going to open up my Notification Center, where I'm going to be notified of new mail messages and calendar events and all those good things. Um, the next one is Mission Control, which is probably my favorite. If I swipe up with three fingers, it's going to put me into Mission Control. Now, before I go into Mission Control, I'll just note that the app expose is down with three fingers. Um, so using these two in tandem with each other uh, is probably the best way to manage all of your windows. So like I did before, you'll notice I have calendar up here where I put it in its own full screen window. So by going to mission control, these little boxes up at the top are my full screen apps and these down here are the apps that I have on the current screen. So if I open up a you know, whole bunch of finder windows and a couple different Google Chrome windows and let's just launch Microsoft Word and start a new document you know and I have a couple of new documents going so basically there's you know a ton of different windows going on here and I don't know how in the world you know I'm gonna find what it is that I'm looking for and so what I run into is a, a lot of closing windows and opening windows and trying to search for files and things like that, but Mission Control makes it really easy. So if I go back to Mission Control, it just separates them by app. So I have all of my win uh, Microsoft Word windows, all of my Finder windows, and all of my Google Chrome windows, you know, as, long, as well as my system preferences and my full screen calendar app up here. So I can easily bring one of these to the front if I'm looking for something in particular. Um, you know, I can also, if I, if you remember the um, app expose, swipe down with three fingers, that allows me to see all the windows within a certain app. You know, so if I'm in Mish Control and I know that I want to go to a Word document, click on Word. This still isn't the right one. If I swipe down, then I can see all my Word documents and easily bring whichever one I want to work on to the front. Same with Google Chrome. Swiping down allows me to choose my different windows. Swiping up allows me to choose my different applications. 
So that's basically a rundown of how that works. Now there's a lot of things you can do um, in terms of if I full screen Google Chrome, that's going to put it um, again in its own full screen window up here, that particular window. Um, so, you know, basically from here you have the option to, you know, rearrange these things or move them onto another desktop. If I want to move a couple of these over here, now these two windows are on that desktop. And it can get kind of overwhelming. So just, you know, keep track of, of what you're doing. I usually run a couple of different applications in one window, a couple in another, and it just allows me to switch back and forth between um, to easily kind of manage those things. So that about covers it. Um, yeah, that about covers um, mission control and expose and managing your windows.